2K just released a gameplay trailer for PGA Tour 2K23, officially. So I'm here to show you all the trailer. I'm gonna let it run uninterrupted. Then once it's done, we are going to dive into this thing because there is so much, so much to unpack within it. Very few people have ever laid claim to beating Tiger head to head. Good luck in your rivalry. You're gonna need it. Grown men lose their minds if they get a glimpse of Tiger Woods from 50 yards away. So there you have it, a gameplay trailer for 2K23. I'm going to tell you now, after watching this thing, my excitement, my curiosity, my interest has heightened quite a bit. We start off, they're really showcasing the caddies just to show that the caddies are in, and I absolutely love it. We get a nice shot of Tiger here in the back. And I have to say, I think that the initial trailer that, that, that was shown on Monday didn't really give the game justice on how much better it looks than 2K21. The player models look look really good. I would say that the probably the crowd is fairly unchanged at this point. They look pretty similar. I'm sure there's minor adjustments, but the course itself looks a lot better. The assets look a lot better. The player models look a lot better. Uh, everything looks a lot better than I think what the initial trailer showed. Like we get a nice shot, Tiger going through, they're talking it over. I don't know if this is going to be like a cutscene or something like that you're going to, to be able to see while you're playing your round. Nice shot of uh, Justin Thomas coming up to his caddy to talk to him. Again, carrying what I'm assuming is going to be your bag. The bag that you have chosen for your clubs is what he is going to be carrying for you. Waste management, I mean, iconic shot here, for sure, in the bowl. We got a zoom in here of a golfer. Lexi again. Another shot of, I mean, coming in, the caddy taking the clubs away. Tiger approaching the ball. I mean, it, this looks like Tiger. Like, it, it looks like Tiger. The swing you're about to see looks like Tiger. The follow-through looks like Tiger. I mean, everything feels like Tiger. And that's that's good. Uh, you definitely want that. This right here, though, is one of my favorite parts because it's going to give the little twirl. I started from right about here. Now I use my right thumb and I spin it. <laughs> the little twirl coming back down. I love that signature. It's good. This looks good, too. And also different caddy than what we saw in the last trailer. So I'm guessing you're going to be able to either select a caddy that you want or they're going to give you a caddy maybe they have like different models of the caddies you know in the game maybe the caddy is going to actually mean something for what you're going to be able to get within the round not sure how that works but there are different caddies so so that is that is good and i mean this all looks good i mean the lighting looks good the detail looks good the player model of tiger looks very good 
Um, everything about this is just, it, it, it's, it's so much better than what we got in the first trailer. We get a nice shot zooming down the course here. Colin, Justin Thomas with a pitch shot. That looked like a, that looked like a, that looked like a JT follow through. I'm guessing here that they have either mocapped or just looked at swings and kind of given a one-to-one -one representation of the golfers. Because that looks, that looks like JT right there. 100% looks like JT. We got to look at Rom here. I, I still, I mean, I think it needs to be a little bit more of a thick boy, but it's, it's still, the player model is actually pretty good. And again, a different caddy as well. Hand the club. I don't know if, the, I'm guessing that this is going to be, you know how they, if you've played PGA Tour or 2K21, they have like these little cutscenes in between of like you walking down the fairway or approaching your ball or, or just things of that nature. They have different cutscenes that they show. Uh, I'm guessing that this is going to be some of those cutscenes that they show in between of you, like, walking up to your ball, approaching it, things of that nature. Hand the club off to the caddy to put back into the bag. Zaltoris. Finau. Lexi. I, 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 I feel bad. I don't really know a lot of the LPGA golfers. Um, I do know Lexi, but I do not know these. I just don't follow it. Here's a view of uh, your golfer. Looks like a created player taking a shot in here. The swing looks a lot better. It looks a lot more. It looks a lot more fluid because that was something that still struggled to PGA 2K21. It just looked a little bit robotic or unnatural. This actually looks really good. It looks very fluid. Looks like a professional golfer taking a swing at a golf ball. A couple more shots taking a look at like just the assets. Rock faces. I wonder if they did anything with uh, water and how that works um, within the designer. I, I said it a hundred times. It's a little bit of a meme, but graphical fidelity of the course, actually, it just looks a lot better. Assets look so much better. I am going to go online to say that I think that they went through and redid all of their assets, like stands, trees, bushes, rocks, like all of the things that you, you add in as an asset that isn't the natural, you know, the natural course itself because all of them look so much better the buildings look so much better like fountain the rocks like they all just look better so i'm guessing that they went through and and redid all of these assets even this bridge looks a lot more like better textured everything has a little bit more depth it doesn't look as blocky as it did uh in 2k21 they went through and, and i think they redid all if Maybe they're just showing the assets that they redid, but I have a feeling that they went through and redid a lot of them. Like, yeah, like just even the buildings, everything just looks a lot better, a lot cleaner than what it did in 2K21. Doesn't look as muddy. Nice shot of a uh, BMW. Again, the course just looks better. Graphics look better. Canadian Open. This is a nice shot of uh, another player model. Yeah, pumped up. Looks like kind of the same, um, like celebrations, but I mean, how many celebrations can you have? And even like this shot, just the whole, the building, the, the like the rock textures. I mean, everything, everything just looks cleaner. That first trailer did not do this game justice. It didn't. Uh, I don't think it really did this game too much justice. This trailer has been a lot better. They definitely went through and either mo or just like referenced the, uh, golfers. Okay. This is another big thing. Shaking hands with Zal Torres. End of a round? End of a tournament? Are we going to be able, in like a PGA career mode, are we going to have twosomes to play during your career mode? Like actually have somebody else out there playing as like an AI? Or is this just going to be like, you're with a pairing, you don't actually get to see, the, see them play, you only take your shots, but then at the end, you, I mean, you shake hands with them because you were, you were playing with them. Um, I am interested to see what this means because this looks this looks really good i mean shaking hands at the end of a tournament trophies are in super pumped about this that's a big positive this looks that looks like a pitch could be a splash nice little roll in there tiger walking up the fairway again this is probably going to be some sort of like 
you know, cutscene coming into maybe the 18, just waving or wherever the crowd is. Just like waving like, hey, you know, thank you know, thanks, thanks. Yeah, is everybody's cheering? It's probably just like one of those cutscenes potentially, but still, I mean, looks very, very good. And again, this this player model right here just looks so much better than what it looked like yesterday. That trailer did not do this game justice, I don't think. But this looks good. Red Nike shirt, black pants, Tiger Woods branded hat. So another player model. We're in some Jordans. Oh, what do we got out here? Jordan, Adidas, Jordan, Skechers, Titleist, Callaway, Golf. I don't know who that is. Another player model, though. Taylor made in Bridgestone. Yeah, more customization. Give me all of the customization, dude. Got the Tour Championship. Another shot of Tiger. Nice little drive out. Taylor made Sim. Taylor made Ball. Mizuno. There's Mizuno there, real quick. Titleist. Pro V1s. All that I use. <laughs> I love Pro V1s. Here, here is the big stuff. You can see transition behind me. But we have a head. We have a shaft. We have a grip. And I'm guessing this is going to be broken down for every club. But at least. Because it's, yeah, it's got to be every club. Maybe not putter. Probably not putter, but every other club more than likely. So it looks like it's going to be, you're going to have cosmetic. So your actual driver and everything is going to be cosmetic. But you can come through and select which you want. Either you want none, which I guess you could. Swing path, timing. Oh, there's a couple of timings. Ooh, I wonder if these are going to be different. Like if we're going to have like different heads driver heads that give you different choices of what you want to put onto the club that's interesting but we have power timing swing path transition shaping and lie range power of course what power means timing and transition that's what i'm interested in i wonder if the tempo is going to change because before it was just like just your, your tempo but now it's like timing is that timing of bringing your club back for power that would be my guess Transition is now considered tempo. What if they're going to give you a little bit more information too for why your swing wasn't perfect, was just good or something of that nature? Swing path is your accuracy. Shot shaping is everything from draw, fade, spin, all of that. Lie range is interesting too because when you go into the rough, it gives you a range of like, you know, 15, 16, 17, 18 points, whatever it is. Like the ball is going to come out 50 to 63. So I wonder if lie range, I guarantee you it's going to shrink it. But I wonder if it's actually going to move it into a positive direction. So instead of getting like a 73 as your max, you get a 80. Like you're you're better. That club is better out of the rough or the bunker. Um, that's 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 really interesting. I, I like that a lot. I like if especially if you're kind of off the beaten path a lot, having that lie range good is what you want. And it looks like it's on a scale of 100. I don't know. I think this is just the scale for the driver itself. So I'm curious if each driver and shaft and grip has a base. It gives you a base stat, and then you use these fits to increase it up to whatever you would like, up to a maximum of probably 100. There's also a fit purchase too, so fitting different things onto it is going to cost you golf credits? Whatever the credits are, they look like it just spells out golf, but... Oh, I don't know. This is interesting. I, I, the only thing is, like, hopefully it's not, like, loot boxes. I don't want that. But if you can just, like, buy these with currency or you get them by playing, like, the career mode or they just get awarded to you through the, like, a, um, a, a pass, a battle pass, or through just playing the game. It's just something that you can unlock at the end of a round or something of that nature. I'm fine with that. Just as long as I just don't want, I don't want loot boxes. But this is all great right here. This is all great. Yeah, see, it's just, it's different things that you can select and they give you different attributes. Yeah, I don't know. That's, it's, uh, that is going to be interesting to see more on, on how that works. Whether the head is just like, is it just cosmetic or does it give you base stats that you build upon? And how is this going to factor into competitive things? Like, am I going to have to go out and build my player up? You know, before I take it into competitive? I'm, I'm really interested to see how that works and how that balances itself out. Because the thing is, is, we already have that with the clubs that you have to select. You get, like, your bag, right, in 2K21. 
This, though, adds another layer onto that, which, I, at the end of the day, I think is good. The more customization, the better. Eh, gosh. Yeah, here's another thing. There's, dude, there's so much in this trailer. It, it is, it is crazy how much they released within this trailer. That's just new. So, we have skills and archetypes, something that was teased a little bit on their website. But look at all the skills. 42 of them. You have 50, Right now, it's 50 points to spend. I don't know if this is a max level character. I don't know if you just get 50 or the person's level 50. If you get 50 or you can get up to a max of probably not 100, but a max of 60 or 70 or 50 is the max. Not sure how that works, but 50 points to spend. Again, do I have to go out and grind this? Is it just given to me? Those are questions for online that I have. And I don't mind grinding at all. I mean, I, I think having something to work towards is good at the end of the day. Having a build, having something that you can do like in between rounds or dependent on, you know, your course that you're playing. Maybe you want to change up your skills. Uh, is this going to be just in career mode? Is it competitive as well? It's, there's so many, <laughs> so many, so many questions that I have, but I do like that something like this is in the game. And it shows that, so you have Driver Wood Hybrid Iron Wedge Putter. For your iron, what we're on right now is Beach Bum. Splash Shots receive a timing boost from the bunker. Not a lot of times you're going to be using an iron from the bunker. It's usually a wedge. Oh, but also, it is very specific to the bunker. So I wonder if Splash Shots are finally just the bunker. Please, please God, let that be true. Or if it's just very specific if you're in the bunker and using a Splash Shot, you get this timing boost. And it's activated via have poor swing timing four times in a row. And I'm guessing it's just, or maybe it, it may not be four times in a row, but just four times. And then deactivation is have good swing timing. And as you can see, the more you level it up, the the less you need to activate it. And the, the less, or the more you need to deactivate it, which is awesome. So the more skills you pump into it the better that skill will be for you as you're going through your round. And I also miss this one too. It's very quick. It's a quick frame, but there's also for hybrid, you have survivor. Normal shots receive a timing boost from the heavy rough. Score a bogey or worse to get it. Score par or better. Twice. And you can see as soon as you score one bogey at level three, you'll get this skill for two holes. That is pretty cool. I do like that. A little bit more on the arcadey side, but again, I kind of like the whole like meta building and all of that stuff. I, I really get lost in the weeds with those things. So I do, I do like this a lot. Also, another thing is once you put all your skills in, does that give you an archetype? Because there's two separate, there's skills and there's archetype. So does the archetype maybe give you, depending on the build that you've made, do you have an overarching archetype that does something for you? Another question that we have. Don't know how that works, but I am interested. We get a shot of the designer. It does look like the designer has been um, maybe just kind of slimmed down. Not as much stuff in your face um, during the during the designer. I don't know a ton about the designer. I mean, I, I was in it creating a course for like three hours. So I don't know a whole lot. So if you are a designer, I don't know if anything pops out to you or if anything has changed, but you're going to have to let me know down in the comments if there is something. And here's a shot of a bunch of created players going through a swing, and it looks like they're all the same. So I would say maybe a little bit of a miss. If you went through and did all of these swings for the golfers, man, it would be cool to have maybe use theirs, you know? Wouldn't that be neat? to use their swing to give you just a little bit of variety. Maybe something that can be added in later, or it might already be in and they're just not showcasing it. That is also true. But all these uh, player shots look look uh, look exactly the same. Also, I just want to point out, there's great follow cams, but this is me right here. This is me right here. Look where this ball's going. That ball is going into the water. I am great at that in this game. That's going to be me. More ways to swing. See, now that makes me think, because sometimes things are hidden in plain sight, right? Maybe they will have different uh, swing types, like swings that you can do to give you that variety. Like um, use Zalatoris swing, you Tiger Woods swing, something like that. Or it could be, maybe they added in punch shot, because I know that's, that's something that people wanted. More ways to swing, maybe they added punch shot back in. <laughs> we got Divot Derby, and they also changed this up. 
So the power meter is no longer just at the bottom. They actually give you a visual representation of your swing path. That's kind of neat. I do like that. That is a good UI change. I do like that. Another thing to note is if you look at the accuracy and the tempo, a lot more gray in there. So, and that does the, the, the perfect region does look like probably pro, but there's a lot of gray in there. Cause that was one of the things is like, it was really easy to get just like red fast or very, very fast. Um, the more gray kind of gives you a little bit more wiggle room for your shot. It's a 274 drive, so they're probably using something that has a lot of forgiveness as well. But still, I like the, the UI change. This looks really good. And I think that that looks super clean, the actual feedback. Oh my gosh, another thing, sudden death. The lowest score takes the win. You know what that means? That probably means we have playoff holes. Something that was asked for a lot by a, a ton of the community for not only multiplayer, but for like your career mode, having a sudden death hole, where if you're tied, you go in and you can actually choose a winner. It's not ended in a, a tie, you know, or just like, I'll just give you the win kind of thing. We actually have a playoff hole and that is huge. And I thoroughly enjoy that. If that's what this is, that is my guess. I am I am going to stake that that's probably what it is. We have three golfers all walking down the fairway. So the same point that I brought up earlier where we had twosomes, are we going to have threesomes that we play with during a tournament, during multiplayer, like being able to actually see them on the course, walking up to a green together. It's just a very interesting cutscene for that. It might just be that, th that too. It might just be a cutscene as well. Like you're in multiplayer and three people that you're, or two people, other people that you're playing with, they're all on the green, so it just gives you a cutscene of all three of your avatars walking up to the green. Which again, that's that immersion, and I'm 100% for it. This all looks good. Got a couple of people, some of the, you know, animations for missing a putt or hitting a good shot. And then Top Golf again. And again, I think that the, the view that they gave for the first trailer just wasn't that flattering. Because uh, this looks a lot better. The cityscape looks better. Again, the assets all look good. Lighting looks good. Everything looks a lot better than than what it looked like in the first trailer. So I'm guessing that this wasn't a flattering view, you know. But this looks this looks great. And I mean, this is Top Golf. You're choosing your club. You're trying to hit for points, which they're getting. You have your your set amount of balls that you can hit to get those points. This all looks really good. Here's uh, a couple of golfers walking off after either the end of a hole or end of a tournament. Makes me think that you're going to, if you pair with one of the pros in the game, that you're actually going to play the round with them. That, that's what makes, I, I think that when I see this, but again, it could just be a, a, a cutscene. I'm not quite sure. We have trophy presentations. This is all good. I like that the trophies are in too. And the trophy presentation. I think that's really cool. I like that. And then here's the, the other <laughs> announcement. Jordan wearing Jordan wearing Jordan with Jordans. We have Michael Jordan. <laughs> Playable character that you'll be able to, to use. Player model looks good. Again, this trailer does this game, I think, a lot more justice. They're really uh, focusing in on the caddies. I think they might be a little bit bigger than some might think. I don't know. We'll see. And this whole, this whole sequence, this whole sequence is spectacular. With Tiger approaching the ball. Putting it in, he has a Scotty putter, Bridgestone coming in. That's just, that is all good. That all looks really good. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the finger guns. I mean, that's, yeah, that's been an animation for a while, but finger guns at the at the back end there out of Jordan. And that's where it ends. Holy cow. That was a lot. <laughs> that was, that was a ton. So I was provided with a little bit of additional information as well, along with the trailer, just to kind of give you some new controls, more features, things of that nature. So first off, 2K analog swing is still here. I know there was a little bit of confusion on whether you were going to be forced into a three click or if it, both of them were still there. Analog swing is still around. It's your traditional, if you've played PGA 2K21, PGA 19, even Rory McIlroy, that is like the traditional pull down on the stick, push up on the stick with timing and power and all of that nature. So that is all still in here. If you're used to that, you will still be able to use it. But we actually have some more information on the three click swing. So making its debut in PGA Tour 2K, the three click swing requires you to hold and release 
the A or X button, depending on platform, for power. So you hold it, you tap it twice to line up your swing path and club face angle. Interesting. So you're holding it for your power, then you're tapping it for your swing path and tapping it for your club face angle. That is interesting. So that's a little bit different. The presentation differs from the traditional three click swing mechanic you might have seen in past golf games. You'll see a circular power meter displayed as you take your stance rather than the horizontal bar like you have with analog. Regardless of whether you're hitting a normal iron shot, pitching or chipping, the meter sh shape won't change. To start your shot, hold down the button in the desired power and time your release as it nears the power circle. Exceeding the recommended range will result in an overpowered shot or vice versa. After you release, a green dot will start moving counterclockwise at the bottom of the circle. Quickly tap the button at the top of the circle to determine your swing path. I would love to see a video of this. Tapping the button a second time as it reaches the bottom hash mark will determine an open or closed club face. So instead of tempo determining your club face, whether you're closed and hooked or open and slice, that will now determine it. So you hold it for your power and then a green bar will go around the top. That's your essential accuracy or your swing, your swing path. It's your accuracy. That's what your swing path is, your accuracy. Sorry if, if there's any confusion there. And then the next one that comes around is whether you have essentially fast or slow or perfect timing. That is cool. OK, I'm interested to see how that works, but that is that is very, very nice. They go on to talk about, you know, the, the golfers that you can also play as. Tiger Woods, Justin Thomas, Morikawa, Lexi Thompson, Michael Jordan. Now, I mean, I'm interested to see if maybe like other people get in there like Shooter McGavin or Happy Gilmore, you know, just like, you know, just some fun people that you can use. And also with the attribute system, how those attributes are affected with the real life golfers. That will also be interesting to see. No new courses past the ones that were talked about on Monday. Wilmington, the Renaissance Club, St. George's, 20 licensed courses in total. But at the end of the day, I mean, it's all about the designs that people make, right? The launch courses are nice, but I want the designer to be updated for those great designers out there to make the thousands of courses that they do. Uh, they go over some online features. So PGA Tour offers, again, Divot Derby, where players race from the tee box to the pin as fast as they could and dub victorious, along with online societies. We knew those were coming back. All of those are making their return, along with traditional stroke and match play. But we're excited to welcome in Top Golf into the fold. That's a little, I would have liked more stroke and match play options for the online play. So uh, we'll see where that is. If we have leaderboards or lobbies. And a lot of people have been asking for lobbies if those will be in here more than likely not but i mean i didn't think they were going to bring in three click swing two so who knows maybe they bring in lobbies this is a little bit more information on the top golf though uh real life entertainment venue is now part of pga tour 2k 23 where good times and laughs can be had locally or online <laughs> step on to one of the many hitting bays solo or with up to three other players and paint the skyline with a barrage of white golf balls take turns hitting 20 balls each and try racking up points by aiming for the assortment of colorful, circular, and square targets. The player with the most points at the end of the round will be crowned victorious. So, Top Golf. That's exactly what Top Golf is. I absolutely love Top Golf. I am interested to see how it plays actual, like, with multiplayer. I'm actually very, very excited to see that. Is it going to be one of the things, you know, that you play throughout the course of a cycle is it going to be something that you play for a couple of times and you're like eh, all right does it turn into something you just play with friends which is completely fine it doesn't need to be something that is just constantly played i do like that no new information about the designer which is kind of a bummer hopefully they release another video at some point to go over the designer and if there's anything new within it or what they have done with changes for it but at this time there is no new information about the designer which is a bummer and that is it. To be honest, I wish they would have let off with this. I wish they would have let off with this trailer. This trailer does this game a lot more justice than the first trailer did. But I mean, again, the first trailer was just like, this is the date, you know? This is the more of like, here's some meat and potatoes, you know? We'll see what the dessert is. But for now, this trailer got me a little bit more amped up for the game. Uh, that's for sure. The changes 
while there are a lot of questions still, I think this is going to be good. Very good. Customization out the wazoo. All the skills, the archetypes, something to grind for, something to play for, a little bit more investment into your actual character. I'm excited to see what happens with this. Very excited. What are your thoughts? You'll have to let me know down in the comments if you were kind of on the, eh, I don't know, that, that first trailer was kind of bleh. But how do you feel now after seeing this trailer? Are you feeling a little bit more confident? Are you a little bit more excited, hyped up for it? Make sure to let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, if you made it this far and you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a thumbs up on the video. I'd greatly appreciate it. Helps out the algorithm, helps the channel, helps me. I would greatly appreciate it if you did leave a thumbs up on the video. Sub to the channel to stay up to date with PGA 2K23 information, gameplay, all that jazz coming up on the channel in the future. And thank you for stopping by today and watching this. And I will catch you on the next one.